Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. Our question for today is something pretty simple, to the point. Um, does your person of interest feel your connection? Um, are they aware that it exists, basically? This is going to be more geared towards, you know, soulmate and twin flame situations. Um, so if that's not your gig, then this may not be the reading for you. Um, we've got three decks to choose from today. We have, for deck one, the Golden Tarot. Deck two is the Kawaii Tarot. And deck three is the Tarot of Sexual Magic. This deck does have some spicy imagery, just so you know. Um, I will give you guys a moment to make your choices, and then we will get cracking. Alright, deck one. Let's find out if your person is aware of your connection. Do they feel it? If they can feel it, how? How does it manifest for them? In what ways can they feel it? Does deck one's person feel the connection that they share? We have the Empress, the Knight of Wands. Of Wands, Nine of Swords, whoa, 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 that's too many cards, okay, um, the High Priestess and the Hierophant, yes, I think your person definitely can feel your connection. Um, the High Priestess, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward message. You know, this card talks about spirituality. It talks about soul connections. Um, it is, like, associated with, you know, the unknown. It's, it's the esoteric. It's that kind of stuff. Um, your person definitely feels your connection, and... I think they know. I feel like they're aware that what they're feeling is related to you. And I feel like they are aware that it is something spiritual, that it is something that exists like on the soul level, you know what I mean? You know, like sometimes, you know, somebody might be able to feel you know, a connection that they have with someone else, but they may not be aware of what it actually is. They might not know what it is they're feeling. They just know they're feeling something. This person, though, I think knows what it is, or, or they at least have some idea. Um, the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands, you know, the Wands cards are associated with fire, so they have a very, like, fiery, passionate, um, also sexual kind of energy to them. Um, I feel like this person, the connection for them, the way that they feel it, it, it manifests as, like, this, this magnetic attraction towards you. Um, they feel like they want to see you. They, like, they might, uh, they might go look at your Facebook just to look at your pictures, or they might even have pictures of you saved onto their phone that they look at from time to time. And I don't think that they, I don't think they look at them in a creepy kind of way, but just in the sense that, you know, you're someone, like, like they miss you, you know, they miss you and they just want to see you. They just want to see your face because it makes them happy. Um, but they are very, very physically attracted to you. They feel a lot of physical chemistry. Even if you never had an opportunity to meet this person face to face, they still feel that attraction and that chemistry and it's intense for them. Um, 
the Empress card also tells me that they see you as a very kind person, as someone who would probably be a really good, like, parent. Um, it's possible that they see themselves having a family with you someday, um, or they have this, okay, this is kind of gross, uh, but for some of you, your person has this, like, intense, like, base desire to just, like, procreate, <laughs> like, with you specifically, um, it, and it's, like, it, and it, you know, it ties in with that really intense, like, physical attraction, right, um, but it goes beyond that, you know, it, it's not just a sexual kind of thing here, um, it goes way beyond that, too, it's, like, they feel, they feel that chemistry, they feel that desire to have, like, physical intimacy with you, but there's also, with the Hierophant here, there's also this feeling of, it's like they just, they, okay, they feel you with them quite a lot. It's almost like when they're going about their day, you know, their day-to-day -day life, sometimes they feel as though you're there with them. And they may actually, like, find themselves, like, thinking, thinking about things that are happening around them or thinking about things that they're seeing in the context of, like, you know, what if they were actually here with me, you know? How, like, how, like, what kind of interaction would we have based on our immediate, like, surroundings or something like that? It, it's almost like they, they imagine, like, just, you know, going about their day-to-day -day life with you present there with them. And it, it might be like they talk to you a little bit, like, in their head. Again, not like, not like in a crazy person kind of way, but just in the sense that it's just like it's just like they they feel you they feel you there it's like you're you're just you're with them you're with them all the time and they also probably dream about you i think they dream about you pretty often with the nine of swords you know the nine of swords can talk about like anxiety and stress um in this particular case though i am seeing this as dreams this card also can talk about nightmares i mean they might have nightmares about you on occasion uh, but i think for the most part their dreams are normal you know they're not anything really intense um, but I do think that they dream about you, they see you in their dreams, and, um, that's how this connection is, like, manifesting for them in their, in their life. Uh, it's like, it's like they just, they just can't really get you off of their mind. It's like they, they find themselves thinking about you pretty much throughout the day, periodically, you know, throughout the day most days um and again it's like they f they feel like you're there with them sometimes and i think that they know i think they know what it is i think they have that awareness of like what this thing is that they're experiencing i want to just see if this deck has anything else that it wants to add before we move on. We have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And let's get one more of these. reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. 
So yeah, this is, this person I think definitely is aware that you share something very significant and very deep. And I feel like there has been some issues between the two of you in the past. I definitely feel like you're probably not in contact with this person right now. Um, and you know, somebody in this equation has made some mistakes, maybe both of you. Um, but I feel like they have accepted whatever mistakes they have made. If, if you made mistakes, I feel as though they have forgiven you and accepted that and moved on from that. Um, it's like they are, I think they're content right now with the way things are for the most part. Um, they have accepted, it's like they have accepted that you are part of them. This person feels like they've been doing a lot of, they've been doing a lot of reflection themselves. They've been doing a lot of inner work, I think. And that's a beautiful thing. That's good. Um, and I think that they are aware that you and them are going to cross paths again. I think that they are, they believe that, they trust that, they know that. And it's like, you know, in their mind, it's like, you know, now is the time for me to do my thing and they're gonna do their thing. And I think they're trusting that you will meet again, that there will be a new beginning for the two of you. It's like, this person is definitely uh, trusting in, like, fate, in, like, destiny. This person feels like you are tied into their destiny somehow. This person feels like you guys are meant to be in one another's lives, and they're trusting that that will happen when the time is, is right. Um... I feel like they also know that now is not a good time really for the two of you to be in each other's lives for whatever reason. Um, they're just, they're giving it time. They're giving it space. They're focusing a lot right now, I think, on themselves. And they are, I think for the most part, they're happy with the way that things are. They're content having you with them, like in spirit, you know, like in their heart. Um, and in their dreams, you know, um, and I think they're, yeah, I think they're just trusting that, like, I think they're just trusting that it's gonna, whatever's meant to be will be, you know? So, um, deck one, that's what I have for you guys. Does your person feel your connection? Yes, definitely. And I feel like this person is very aware of like what it is, what the nature of the thing is, which is interesting. Um, so that's what I have for you, deck one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this reading resonated with you. Uh, thank you for joining me and I hope I see you next time. Bye. Okay, deck two. Let's see if your person can feel your connection, and if so, how? How does that, how does it manifest for them? In what ways do they feel it? Does group two's person feel their connection? We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. We have the Empress. The Empress showed up for deck one as well. The Hierophant also showed up for deck one. Two of Wands. And the King of Wands. Hmm. Let me get a couple more. Whoa, we got the Moon card. And how about one more? The page.
Page of Pentacles. All right. Deck two, does your person feel your connection? Um, yes and no. It's like, they feel something. I think they're just not quite sure what it is. <laughs> uh, they, the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles are telling me that you are on their mind a lot, okay? Um, you are, they feel this, this pretty intense, like, desire to be near you, to be close to you, but they are kind of resistant to it. They definitely feel a lot of love towards you, like, you know, fondness. They have a lot of affection for you, um, but I think that their feelings for you also make them feel kind of out of, like, unbalanced uh, in some way. We have these three cards that talk about, like, stability and consistency. And so, like, that tells me that they're... you are like a, a theme, you're like a recurring theme in their life. Even if you don't have contact with this person, even if you're in separation, like you are a recurring theme in this person's life. Like you're on their mind a lot. You are, you, you, you just occupy their thoughts quite a bit. And um, with the Page of Pentacles, it's possible that they have an eye on you, okay? that they keep an eye on you some way, somehow, either, like, online or through mutual friends or acquaintances. Um, the King of Wands, this is talking about, like, physical attraction. It's talking about magnetism. It's like, this person, okay, this person wants you. This person wants you really bad. But it's almost like a player kind of energy. It's like they feel so drawn to you and they think that if they could just, I don't know, like get with you, then it would go away because they don't know what what this is. They don't know why they feel so drawn to you. You know, the moon talks about the unknown something that has not yet been revealed to them. They haven't figured it out yet. They haven't figured out why they feel this way. Okay. Um, they are, and so they, they feel like it's just, it's almost like they feel like they just have a really intense crush on you or something or something like that. And it's like, they think that if they could just get with you or if you would just give them a chance that they would stop feeling this way. They would be able to move on or start, like, feeling like a normal person again. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, but they do feel it. They do feel it. They just don't really know what it is or why they feel it. Um, they don't realize how deep it goes. Okay. Um, let me pull out a couple of these oracle cards and see if there's anything else that they would like to add. They just have this desire to, like, just always be knowing what you're up to, I think. So, they may not actually watch you, but they, they, they want to know what you're doing, you know? They're, it's like a nosy kind of vibe. Playfulness. Uh, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Yeah, their thoughts on this are not super serious. They feel, they just feel like, that's too many cards. Um, they just feel like this is just like puppy love, a crush, you know, that is intense. Um, that's still too many cards, man. I just want one. I just want one more. Um, 
So it's like they don't take this, I feel like they, they don't take it super seriously. Or they are trying not to. They haven't realized yet how significant it is. Maybe, maybe, okay, there we go. We have time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. There, this person's not about to um, try too hard here. It's like, okay, here's, here's what I'm getting with this. This person wants you really badly, but they don't want you to know that. They don't want to come across as trying too hard. They want to come across as, you know, cool, calm, you know, whatever. Like, eh. It's no big deal, but in reality, it is a big deal um, for them. But they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know how much they think about you or how badly they want to be around you. It's like... They just want to... I feel like this person just wants to have fun. And they think that if they could just have a little bit of fun, then these feelings would subside. They wouldn't be so intense. But the thing is, that's not really the case because uh, I feel like you and this person definitely, your, your connection goes a lot deeper than that, right? Um, but they don't know that yet. They haven't figured that out. So um, deck two, does your person feel your connection? Yes. Uh, they just have not they just have no clue what it really is um so that's your answer deck two um i hope you enjoyed i hope this resonated with you and uh yeah thank you so much for joining me today we are going to talk about deck three all right my tarot of sexual magic deck Deck three, does your person feel your connection? If so, how? How does it manifest for them? What are their thoughts on it? We have the strength card. That's like 15 cards. Okay. We have the five of pentacles. We have the Hierophant. This is so weird because the Hierophant has come out for all three readings today. Um, the Hanged Man. The Seven of Wands. And the Five of Cups. Okay, deck three. I think your person does feel your connection, but it's like, they would rather not. What I mean by that is, the strength card, okay, the Hierophant, I'm seeing this as, you know, them being aware that there's something going on, there's some like enduring quality to their thoughts about you it's like you know you're you're on their mind a lot and they do feel that there is something significant there like the, the degree to which you are on their mind the the way that they feel towards you they feel very drawn to you it's like they know that there's something there. They know there's something between you that is deep, you know? Um, but the strength card is like, they, they try to overcome that. They try to overcome those feelings. They try not to think about you. It's like, in, in the Seven of Wands, you know, this card talks about resistance. Um, it's like they, they try to fight against it. Um, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups you know, Five of Pentacles, this is about, like, 
leaving something behind, abandon it, abandonment, loneliness. Uh, it's it's an energy of like unhappiness, grief, and so is the Five of Cups. It's similar. It's grief. It's loss. It's sadness. It's 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 um. It's like uh, this connection makes them feel stuck, it makes them feel kind of trapped. Like, like they can't seem to let you go, they can't seem to get you off of their mind, and they. Hate is a strong word, but they don't like it, <laughs> okay? They don't like it, like, at all. Um, it makes them feel helpless. It makes them feel, like, you know, stuck. Like, they can't move forward. They can't move on. It's like they want to, I feel like they want to leave this thing behind. But they just can't seem to do that. They can't let it go, right? So they do feel your connection, but they're not, they're not a fan, okay? unfortunately um let's see what uh what your oracle cards want to add here we have acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control yeah your person is like really fighting against this connection they don't want to accept it and we have only time will tell so, yeah, they, they feel it, they feel it, they feel, they feel it, but they don't really like it, they want to let it go, they want it to, they want to, it's like, it's almost like they feel plagued by thoughts of you, which is like, kind of hard you know, that's, that's kind of a harsh, harsh vibe. Um, and so they resist, they try to overcome it, they try to walk away regardless, but they still feel that loss. They feel your absence and they don't like that. It's like, why can't I get this person off my mind? Why do I keep feeling this way why do I feel so stuck and this person may or may not come to accept it only time will tell um, it's like whatever happens in this situation it's like it's it's still too soon to really say um, how this person is going to react moving forward if their feelings about this are going to change significantly because it's like right now they don't it's like they don't really want to do anything it's like if i can't move on then i'm just gonna sit here you know because it's like they want to move on but they feel like they can't and so they're like fine i'll just do nothing you know, um, which is not great, uh, kind of sucks to be honest. So, um, deck three, that's probably not, that's not the happiest reading of the day. Um, and I'm sorry, but these are general. So, you know, if, this didn't really resonate with you then this probably wasn't your reading uh take what take what applies to your situation and leave the rest um you know how it be uh yeah deck three that's what i've got for you guys um thank you for joining me i hope that it resonated with you and i hope i see you next time guys bye